The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN Monday morning, just after 9 a.m. Eastern time. We got the markets right now kicking things off in positive territory. S&P's up by eight points, trading at 39.25. You get the NASDAQ 100 up about 30 points, trading at 12,169. The Dow 31,524. We're as high as 31,695 in the Dow. Right now, you're just positive by 37 points in the Russell, positive by four. Bitcoin right now sitting at about 21,000. We're as high as about 21,500 overnight. Far above the lows that we had last weekend, right? Remember last weekend, it was 17 or 18,000. So Bitcoin staying above 21,000 for right now. You got Ethereum at about $1,200. Crude catches a little bit of a bid. We're back above 108 bucks. Crude was as low as 101.53 last week, and just like that, we're seven dollars higher off of last week's lows. Now, we got a treat this week, folks. We got a couple promotions going on. We have a new newsletter going on. We're going to be talking to our man Teddy Kegstad at 40 past the hour. We talk to Teddy every Wednesday usually, but we're talking to Teddy today because he's got a new newsletter. It's launching today. We're going to pull that up in a moment. Uh, crude oil higher this morning, 108.11. We jump to gold. Gold right now up by five dollars. You see the volatility this morning. We were above 1840. Gold trades to 1830. We're back in the middle of that range to 1835. Silver is up 29 cents right now at 2142. And we jump to notes and bonds. And you got some lower price and higher yield, folks. You got the 10 year right now negative by almost 16 ticks. Excuse me, we're going to jump over and get the exact yield we're dealing with right now in the 10-year. You talk about some volatility in this yield market. We're back to almost 3.2%, folks. We were almost going to hit a three-handle. Is that on Thursday? Maybe it was on Friday. One of the programs I was doing, maybe it was that spike towards the end of the program on Friday. I think it was this spike right here. The 10 o'clock bar, as I was coming into the end of my program, potentially on Friday, I said, we might see a three or a two-handle, excuse me, for the yield on the 10-year, not so fast, folks. We're at 3.187. The yield on the 10-year right now, you got the 30-year, negative 25 ticks right now at 135.08. We jump over to the volatility index right now. You're looking at a VIX trading at 28.19. Okay, as I mentioned, we will be talking to Teddy coming up at 40 past the hour. And folks, we've been talking to Teddy for years now. He has had some amazing calls, crude in particular, uh, a great education he provides on the Forex market. And he's gonna take that experience, and he's gonna take that knowledge, folks, and he's starting the Tiger Forex report. New issue already out today, folks, okay? So Teddy's gonna have a weekly issue of a Forex report. He's gonna be breaking down many of the most popular pairings. You got the DXY, the Euro US dollar, pound dollar, Dollar Swiss, Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar, dollar yen, and uh, the dollar Canadian dollar, as well as looking at crude, as well as taking a look at yields, the 30-year T-bond, both of those influencing the market tremendously. As you would know, if you tune in for the interview segments we've had going on with Teddy. Now, as an inaugural promotion, folks, okay, and we'll talk about this when we have Teddy, this is a great deal, it doesn't come around often. We do this type of deal occasionally when we will not launch a newsletter. You can sign up and you can gain 25% off the monthly subscription price, but here's the key. You lock it in forever, folks. We only do these types of seals for a promotion only on something we're starting as basically an inaugural member. So you wanna come an inaugural member of the Tiger Forex Report, you lock it in. We're gonna offer this deal for the month of July. So you'll be able to get this deal for the month of July. For one month only, you sign up at the beginning of Teddy's in the letter. You'll be the inaugural member, uh, and you'll save 25% forever, folks. Now, this letter is $97 a month, so I think 25% off comes to something like $72.50, something like that a month. You can subscribe. You just have to add the promo code TEDDY25 in when you go to checkout. Add the code. You'll see those savings reflected. And as I said, that 25% stays with you as long as you're a subscriber. And here's the key. You still get a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
If you've listened to Teddy's calls, folks, he does an outstanding job. I encourage you to sign up for the letter. Worst case scenario, it doesn't fit your trading style. You don't have the time. You're not into it. Whatever it is, you can cancel. Comes with a money back guarantee. Best case scenario, you like the letter and you lock in a 25% deal for the life of your subscription. Hopefully you stay with us for years. Uh, but that letter already out this morning. So when you sign up, you'll gain instant access to it. It's a weekly letter. It will come with specific trade recommendations when the market presents them. Uh, Teddy will have that letter out every Monday and then there'll be updates when warranted. And as I said, we'll be talking to Teddy at 40 past the hour today. What we also have, we got a Tiger Dollar sale going on, folks, July 4th. You can go get your Tiger Dollars first and then go sign up for Teddy's newsletter, all right? Or go sign up for uh, whatever newsletter you like. Tiger Dollars, folks, if you're not familiar, great way to add savings. They never expire. They're fully transferable, and they can be used for any TFNN newsletter or service. Normally, we offer a 10 15 or 20% bonus on your purchase for this sale, we've doubled that bonus. So you get a 20, 30, or up to a 40% bonus on your purchase for Tiger Dollars. Uh, the Tiger Dollars come in three different options for purchase. You spend 500, you get 600, that's a 20% bonus. You spend 1,000, you get 1,300 Tiger Dollars for 300 extra Tiger Dollars or a 30% bonus. And the top tier, the best value, you spend 1,500, you get 2,100 Tiger Dollars. That's 600 Tiger Dollars bonus. That's a 40% bonus on what you spend. Current subscribers out there, if you're paying for a newsletter right now, I encourage you to check out this deal if you've never bought Tiger Dollars before. You buy them, you apply them to your account, they're used for all recurring transactions going forward you, automatically. You don't have to do anything. Once you apply them to your account once, uh, they're applied to your account for all future transactions. So we got two good sales going on. Uh, we got a Tiger Dollar sale and we got a new newsletter, excited for the Tiger Forex report. Uh, and we'll still be talking to Teddy this Wednesday, but we wanted to have him on the program, talk about the letter, talk about what he'll be doing in that letter on a weekly basis here at TFNN. And we're excited for that, folks. Outstanding education he gives us every week. And now he'll be putting it in a report for subscribers. And that kicks off today on the front page of TFNN. Okay, as we jump around. The headlines today, global stocks pair gains, treasuries decline, market wrap up, and we got a little bit of economic data to kick things off. U.S. durable goods orders exceed forecast in broad advance. You got bookings climbing 0.7% in May. How about well above the 0.1% projection? Shipments of core capital goods rose 0.8% for the second month. You check it out, U.S. durable goods orders post broad-based advance in May. Shipments are strong. You have the durable goods month over month and you have the capital goods in the black line here and you can see i mean that's a decent number there the value of core capital goods orders a proxy for investment in equipment that excludes aircraft and military hardware rose 0.5 percent after a 0.3 percent month not exactly indicative of a market crashing into a recession that's going to damage the economy beyond all repair right not usually the indicator you would see with that type of action lining up you jump back to the markets. We have the S&Ps up by eight right now. You were as high as 39.48, man. The market really ripped higher when you had Europe opening. You have the DAX right now up about six tenths percent. You get the FTSE up about half a percent right now. CAC Carole negative by about two tenths percent right now. Uh, giving back basically all those gains that we had since three in the morning. We're trading right now 39.24. All the markets in the green, but barely. All right, that was a fast kickoff to the program, folks. Stay tuned. we got a short break. We'll be coming back. We'll go over some of the equities here we have moving. We'll get ready for that opening bell to start the trading week. Folks, stay tuned. In a time of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd feasibility study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Welcome back, folks. We get the S&Ps right now up about 10 points. You get the NASDAQ 100 up 42. How about the S&P up almost 8% from the lows made? 10 days ago. Remarkable. And you think about it, too. That was the low made coming into the long weekend for Juneteenth. So you're really only talking about an acceleration that took, I mean, you had that low made on the 17th. You came back on June 21st. You were as low as 36.61. And you accelerate. You're talking about five trading days, basically. You're up 8% off of the lows. Uh, not to tell you that the bear market is over, folks. But, man, we got some volatility in both directions when you have 8% pops in the S&P. And all anybody seems to be talking about is uh, when the bear rally is going to end. Exaggerating a bit, but that's kind of, you know, the consensus just just speak that I would say just in uh, casual terms of casual investors, friends, what it is. Uh, there's been so much devastation and pain. We still have so much volatility to go. Inflation is still raging. We're not out of the woods yet. You can't call it anything else but maybe potentially a little bit of a bear rally. But boy, those bear rallies, they're huge considering the context we have on the move negative. So you go back to June 3rd. You trade from a price point of about 4,200 down to 3,639. Right now, we've crossed the 50% of that entire move. The 618 pushes us right, right near 4,000. So that would be a 618 retracement of the t entire move lower for the month of June that we had so far, as in your move from about 4,200 to 3,639, we blow right through the 382. We're sitting right now at the 50%. You did get as high as about 3,948, I think. Yes, 3,948 is the exact high. Uh, we're off it a bit, but keep that number. Maybe 3,979, maybe it hits that 4,000 round mar mark on the S&P. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is that we got some territory here, 4140 or so. Be real careful if the market is ever able to get up to there. Now, that's 200 plus points from where we're trading at right now, okay? But we're going to have some headwinds, man. You've seen it before in terms of that's the lows that we had in March. That's also an area we chopped around in April. And that's an area that we started to top out in May before turning lower. So if the market's able to claw it back to that degree, man, you may see some selling coming in at that area. Going to face a little bit of a headwind for sure. Okay, let's jump over to some of the equities that we have moving this morning. And we'll start things off with Spirit Airlines. So this one's an interesting one, right? They're going to go for Frontier, okay? So they're going to accept the latest improved takeover bid from Frontier. That 
has cash and stock valued at $2.7 billion on Friday's close. The most recent JetBlue deal was a solid $1 billion higher. Spirit believes it's unlikely that regulators would approve a combination with JetBlue, a notion that JetBlue has disputed. Pretty remarkable that they're taking $1 billion less on the notion that they don't think the deal will go through. Uh, JetBlue doesn't risk as much, of course, if they go for it. Very biased in that, I'm sure. Uh, but yes, uh, interesting to say the least that they're taking a billion dollars less from Spirit than it would be from JetBlue. Talking about the fact that they don't think those regulators are going to be able to get it uh, through. You jump over to some of those airlines. There's Spirit. Now you're going to open a little bit lower. There's the acceleration on that news. And you can see the market was probably hoping they uh, would have found a way to accept the bid that was a billion dollars higher for JetBlue. JetBlue has been in max trouble lately. They get a little bit of a lift with the market right now. Not sure that's totally has to do with anything to do with that story. But you want a bad chart, folks. There's a bad chart for you. Can you find a bit on that chart on JetBlue? Just remarkable in terms of uh, the pullback they've had. And anecdotal data for JetBlue as well. Just horrible. They got a great hub in Boston. They got a great hub in Tampa. I've used them many times going back and forth over the years, over the over the 17 years I've been down here at least, which is just crazy to put into words. Used that airline many times. They weren't even running, I think, when I first got down here. I remember they started that route, and they had amazing fares, of course. When they start a route, they start a specific route into a new city, they'll do some amazing fares to start getting some tickets. They had some mind-blowing fares to kick things off. But so I have a lot of friends that travel JetBlue and just horrible, horrible service. You're getting planes getting canceled, planes getting delayed. They have severe issues right now with whatever it is. And there was a story this weekend, I think, about canceled planes as well. Very difficult for these airlines to be operating right now. Many stories last week about some of the airlines canceling their routes. Um, but JetBlue is just the worst chart of them all at 862. You take a look at American. That's pretty bad, too. 1390 as I jump around, man. United, look at all of them. They're all near the bottom range right now. 3851 right now. Jump to Delta. Delta's a little bit higher, but still so far below pre-COVID levels for these airlines. Southwest to 3773. Yeah, man, it is crazy. They're all in big trouble right now. All right, let's jump around to what else we got going on. Yeah, Robinhood. So they're a little bit higher after Goldman Sachs upgraded this stock to neutral from sell. Quite the upgrade. They cut the price target to 950 from 1150, though. So they downgrade the price target, even though they're no longer a sell to neutral. The rise comes despite a release of a congressional report detailing the trading platform's difficulties in handling the meme stock frenzy of January 2021. So I know that Kathy Wood has a huge position in Robinhood, but that's a chart akin with JetBlue right there. There is no bid at all in this stock, folks. Yeah, you're up 20 cents right now at eight bucks. That's a weekly. We'll put it back to a daily. Uh, and just in the grand scheme of things, the only reason this stock was accelerating higher is that they weren't making money off of people trading Dogecoin. It wasn't even crypto. It was like Dogecoin. It was a huge percentage of what they were dealing with. Uh, I'd be really careful of that equity in particular. There's probably better equities out there that don't have as much risk for some of the upside that you could secure. In some of those, I mean, the likes of a Roku or a DraftKings or something like that, I would much rather jump into than something like Robinhood. And then you have the pay for order flow might go away, right? What happens if that goes away for, for Robinhood? There's a lot of obstacles right now that they're dealing with. You jump over to the Analyze tab for that company. You're talking about a company valued at $7 billion. I'd say that's optimistic, folks, in terms of whether they even survive what they're dealing with right now especially if you ever have something that payment for order flow goes away because that's their entire business model. That's the only reason they exist. That's how they change the whole landscape of brokerages, at least in this country. All right, we jump down the line for other stocks that are moving. Yeah, so Coinbase down another 5.3. Goldman downgrades it to a sell from neutral, pointing to continued fall in crypto prices and slower industry activity. So the thing about crypto, right? And I got another story out here for crypto, man. I'm talking about $2 trillion, I think, is what's been wiped out now. So Coinbase is down another three bucks, even though the, we got the market positive. It's well off the lows you had of 40 bucks. Folks, the thing to keep in mind is this is well below levels that Bitcoin was trading akin to 
when, you know, for instance, you back things up to June or July of 2021. Well, Bitcoin, folks, back then, okay, was trading at about 29,000. So, yeah, you're below that level, but you check out Coinbase over that time. You are substantially below that level to the tune of you were still trading at 221 bucks when Bitcoin was at 30,000 for the better part of last year. You made it down to $40 recently, folks. Okay, the, the slowdown in crypto trading is what could crush a company like this in a big way. Doesn't matter that Bitcoin's at 20,000 or if it's at 15,000, if everyone's saying, I'm not trading it right now, it's going to 5,000, it's going to 10,000. Yeah. And with that, there's your headline. $2 trillion free fall rattles crypto to the core. I mean, you're buying Bitcoin right now at 20,000. I don't know. Maybe I'll look, at, I'll look at it at 10,000. Maybe I'll look at it at 5,000 or 2,000. I don't think so right now at 20,000. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be coming back for the market open. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. we got markets open, and you open in positive territory with the S&Ps up 13 points. Not bad when you consider the pop we've gotten. Uh, actually, pretty curious last night at Futures, 6 p.m. Eastern time, I opened them up because we've risen so much. I said, we're going to get that pullback. We're going to get a pullback hard as you have the S&Ps coming into the week up 8% off of the lows. No, not yet. We're drifting even a little bit higher with the S&Ps up 12, NASDAQ 100 up about 48 points right now. You get the Dow up 56 and the Russell up by 15 points. Don't forget, folks, we're talking to our man Teddy Kegstack coming up next segment. Check out his newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com. First issue out today. And don't forget, use the code TEDDY25. You can save 25% off the monthly price. And that locks you in 
for the life of your subscription. Uh, those deals we really don't offer outside of maybe when a newsletter begins as an inaugural member. All right, we jump around to what else we got going on. We'll talk a little bit about uh, Morgan Stanley's bear. So uh, is it Michael Wilson? Is that his name? I believe it is. Yeah, strategist led by Michael Wilson. So he's been a bear. He's been out there talking about the potential pullback. But even he is saying the index has a little bit more room to the upside, maybe for a bear run to the upside before losses could resume. I think U.S. equity markets can rather, rather rally further. They wrote in a note with the decline in both bond yields and oil prices having eased some worries around one runaway inflation and helping the benchmark snap a three-week losing streak. All I'll say is that both of those are higher today, folks. We got crude up. You got yields up. Might be a, a slow pause in that market. Uh, stocks have been roiled this year by concerns that the combination of the Fed and inflation could tip the economy into a recession. A recession. Now, the one thing they do say is, I saw 3,000 somewhere in here, right? Where was 3,000? Yeah. Uh, they see the benchmark near 3,000 points in a recession. That's 25% below where we're trading at right now, folks. I've said it many times. Uh, there's nothing wrong with being a long-term investor whether it's for retirement or for whatever reason, if you've made the decision that you're comfortable with where you are, riding this out in the long term, if you're young in your 20s, 30s, even your 40s, even 50s, 60s, you get a long time to live, right? You get 20, 30 years to live. Not the end of the world when you have money and play in the market. But man, if you are thinking of taking money out anytime soon in the next couple of years and you are not okay with the market trading down to 3,000 to 2,800 potentially, 2,500, Analyze those risks. Get your ducks in order right now, folks, because it is completely possible. We have a very volatile time in the next 3, 6, 12 months. Inflation is still raging. Okay, the last numbers were record highs. The numbers we got from May were literally record numbers for inflation. The tide has not turned at all. Remember that as you get a drift up in the S&P of about 9% right now. Remember that we have the last data we have is record inflation. It's important to remember because sometimes it seems like, okay, things are easing, right? Crude prices are easing. Yields are not 3.5% so quickly. Uh, but yeah, not so quick, folks. Numbers, they're pretty pretty lofty right now. Crude gives it back a little bit right now. You're technically negative 50 cents. But, you know, look where we are compared to where we were last week. Tuesday, you were at 111. But we're basically at highs that we hadn't seen you know, Wednesday, we're basically sitting at Wednesday's high and Thursday's high and almost where we were on Friday's high as well in that crude market. And you go down to notes and bonds. My dad's been talking about it, and I would tend to agree that, yes, it's possible that just inflation wanes, the ship writes itself, almost no pun intended, but literally the ships start writing themselves, getting into ports, getting out of ports, supply chain issues write themselves and rates don't need to be raised to the dramatic degree that the Fed is talking about. But I don't imagine that's coming down the line right now, folks. Hikes are coming, and I imagine that the 10-year sitting right now at about 3.2% definitely has some risk for higher yield coming at us in the next few months. Uh, I was saying to people in my life over the weekend, though, if you're panicking a bit saying, ah, I should have I should have done that one final refinance and taken money out. Now the 30 is at 6%. And I don't want to take that money out right now. If I need it in the next year or two, maybe I just should have done it and now I missed out. Well, what I'll say to that is just have a little patience, folks. If you don't need the money right now, have a little patience because these rates will wane when inflation comes under control. It may be a year or two. OK, which is a long time for the market to wait for, which is why you're seeing the volatility you're seeing right now. OK, but the, the market is already beginning to price in, you know, an easing of rates to potentially repair some of that economic hardship, um, hardship that you're forcing on the market by higher rates in less than a year. I mean, May 2023, potentially you're seeing already that they'll start cutting rates. It's a cycle, folks. We're in the high side of that cycle when you talk about yields right now, and it may go higher because inflation is record territory, but it will wane. We will come back to more potentially reasonable levels, okay, but there's going to be a resetting in prices. It's happened in the stock market. It's probably going to happen to some degree in the real estate market as well. You look at some of the comparisons, folks, of what a year ago a house was able to buy you. I mean, a payment was able to buy you. 
dramatic differences that has to impact that real estate market because I know you get a lot of cash buyers out there. I know you have a supply problem for single family homes, okay, that we're just not building enough. The crisis in 2008 had builders really pulling back. We've had a lack of building over that time considering the amount of people that need houses. That's caused a shortage. You have Wall Street coming in and scooping up houses that are never going on the market again that have been securitized. Okay, that is changing the game in a big way and rents are much higher, which is going to sustain higher real estate prices in the long run. But there is going to be a pullback because those payments are just dramatic. The, the difference that you have. I'll try and find the, the analysis. And this was going back 10 years ago, I think, or maybe it was 20 years ago. But man, it was scary. It was it was talking about I'll see, I'll see if I can find it because the comparison was just scary in terms of what you, you were talking about. Maybe if you bought a median house and put down 20% 20 years ago, you were paying 800 a month. And if you do it now, you're paying 2200 a month, something like that. Yeah. Okay, let's jump back to some of the equities that are going on this morning. We'll jump down the line. We talked about Coinbase. Yeah, we talked about, uh, so Altria is a little bit higher in the pre-market after June won a temporary stay after the FDA ban on its e-cigarette products. Altria holds a 35% stake in Juul. Uh, listen, I, I hope they do ban them, folks. Um, obviously, something that geared, geared towards children. It's been some great articles written over the last couple of years in terms of how just basically government's always slow to react. And after so much hard work getting people off of cigarettes that just vapes just came in and were able to advertise with cigarette companies or not. They were able to advertise to kids. They got all these kids hooked on vapes. They look like USB drives. They're all flavored. Um, and now we have a new generation that is unfortunately hooked on nicotine yet again. So yeah, I have very little patience for that. Not a fan of the government making things illegal versus legal, but when you're talking about candy flavored USB vapes, um, that's, that's a tough one, folks. You could always tax things to a, a, a ridiculous degree. That's what I think you should do for cigarettes. You don't have to make them illegal. If people want to make those choices that are bad for themselves, they can. Uh, but you just tax it to a very high degree to disincentivize some of that behavior. That's what I would do. Um, but Altria, higher. I would stay away from that stock, folks. I know people call my dad's stock. There's certain companies, you know, morally, ethically. I just don't feel like making money off of selling cigarettes. And people can make their own choices. I just don't feel like making money off that because so many people get hurt and die from it, period. And look at this market, folks. We got the S&P right now trading down 10 points just like that. It held up till the open, and then we've given it up from there, folks. And you're right back to under where we were on the close of Friday. Stay tuned. We're coming back with a special interview with our man, Teddy Kegstat. We'll be talking the Tiger Forex report, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. P's right now, negative by 12 points. And let's jump over to our man, Teddy Kegsat. And folks, head on over to the front page of TFNN. You can check out the Tiger Forex report by Teddy Kegstad. It's up here, the first issue released this morning. Teddy Kegstad, good morning. Good morning, Tommy. Thanks for doing the uh, promo for the newsletter today. Appreciate it. Well, listen, I'll tell you, thank you so much for doing such a great job for the listeners being out here doing these weekly segments, Teddy. And uh, and we're excited for this letter. I know we've gotten um, some good feedback in terms of the excitement of you putting out a product on a weekly basis, talking about the Forex market. And maybe you can just talk to us a little bit, Teddy, off the bat um, about what you'll be doing on the letter. And folks, it's all right here on the front page of TFNN. You can save 25% off. I'll, I'll check it out. I'll, I'll show you in a second um, for the life of your subscription. But if you could just talk to the listeners, the viewers, about what you'll be doing for the letter and, and what you'll be talking about in that letter, Teddy. Sure. Um, well, I'm going to highlight, uh, obviously, the major uh, Forex pairs uh, and also uh, going to also highlight the dollar index as well as the 30-year Treasury bond and crude oil because of their influences on different currency pairs. So in, in each, as I break down each market, I'll have uh, different levels to, so that um, – Anyone that subscribes to the newsletter, they can key off of those levels and be aware of them, especially for, you know, dictating on what positions they are. It's not necessarily trying to guide somebody into a position as much as it is as making sure people are aware of where their risks should be and where they should be watching out for markets to move. It's pretty cool. And I do have uh, the first issue up. I'm going to give them a quick glimpse, Teddy, as I slide through. But you have some great charts in here, man. You kick it off with the dollar. Um, you got resistance areas. You have corrective support zones. You talk about where things may be bearish if it breaks certain levels. Uh, you do a great job with the charts, man. Uh, I'm excited Thank to you. read this letter myself on Mondays. I am. And so, folks, you head on over to the front page of TFNN. You can hit the subscribe button. OK, and the code that you enter is Teddy 25. You see the promo code section. I have it up on my screen right now. Teddy 25. Just make sure you hit the add button and you'll see you save 25 percent, which is 24.25 off the 97. And that gets you to a price of seventy two dollars and seventy five cents. And you lock that in for the life of your subscription as long as you subscribe, folks. Not a one month deal. Uh, I encourage you to check it out. still comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So lock that in. Don't miss that special. And if it doesn't fit your trading, if it's if you don't have the time for it, worst case, just ask for that 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to risk. All right. Let's talk a little bit of market, Teddy. So we kick things off, man. You got the mm -hmm. S&Ps. Uh, start the day positive. We snuck into the negative a bit by 13 points. Uh, we got bonds, the 10 year back at about 3.2 and we have crude sitting pretty healthily, right? At like uh, pretty healthy, I should say about 108. What are you looking at in this market as we, as we come into the July 4th holiday weekend? Uh, well, actually, that's uh, we do have a holiday market uh, coming up. So all traders out there, please be wary of, of uh, Thursday afternoon into Friday. So expect a lot of 
A lot of people in the finance business are taking a long weekend. You can count on that. So it's going to be a lot of algo trading, a lot of erroneous moves. So if you're in a position, work it, whatever. But I would highly suggest you stay out of the markets um, Thursday afternoon into Friday for one. Um, right now, I'm watching the uh, interest rate markets. The dollar has been under pressure for most of the uh, beginning of the trading week overnight from Sundays when it first opened up. It tried to have a little bit of strength, and then it just kind of wasn't uh, able to happen. And then this morning before the, uh, you know, basically I think around six o'clock we started to get a little dollar rally and then we, as we got closer to the uh, stock market opening everything started to fizzle out so but but I'm looking at the bonds and right now they're holding pretty firm about down in one buck right now one handle and I think the 10 years down like 17 16 ticks also you know so if that can stay there all day long um, remember last week I think we talked on Wednesday about how I, I was looking for the bonds to top out around that 136 to 138 area and they they spiked into that area they fell just a little short of the 138 target so um i if we could get another rally in the bonds but i think right now we're seeing that where the interest rates are going to start to turn back to support and if they do lay on that all day today the u.s dollar i say watch out we have a bear trap here the bulls are going to come back very strongly yeah it seems pretty interesting right as in even the 10-year, we were approaching 3.5. At one point during my program last week, it was either Thursday or Friday, uh, I thought we were going to get a two-handle on the Ted, you know, Teddy. I think it was at 3.03, mm -hmm. you know, and the markets were moving so quickly. And just like that, we're back to 3.2%. And I was just talking about Hoya program. The rhetoric is almost like, oh, things have eased now, right? Rates are pulling back. Maybe it got ahead of each other. And I was like, man, what's? there's no data. Basically, now, yes, we've seen some maybe recessionary data, but there's mm -hmm. no data on the inflation front besides, you know, crude easing maybe a bit. But there's mm -hmm. the, we're coming off like a record CPI number, which is pretty amazing right. when you think about like the talk of maybe we've peaked out. And meanwhile, <laughs> we just got a CPI number in May that was the record number and March was supposed to be the record. Right? right. So it's kind of interesting, right. all that rhetoric. And now we come back today, though. And yeah, we got the 10 year back to 3.2 percent. And the market just goes on uh, negative by 15 points right now. Um, right. Volatility not gone. the point. You know what I mean? As in there's no way that that has to be the, no. the, the end of it when the data basically is right. still at record territory. And it's not just the futures driving this because the cash bond market's being sold off right now. Just a fact. You know, there it's just it is being sold off. It's going to be continuing to be sold off. And you have got to realize that there's a lot of foreign countries that own our debt. They're selling our debt right now. They got to scramble. They need money. They need things for, you know, they need to balance their own books right now. And as far as right now, it's not that we have dollar strength right now. It's that, that all these other currencies are wor are weak versus the dollar. So when dollar weakness really starts to stick out and starts to see little flags going over, hey, we actually have dollar weakness, we're going to see the dollar fall really, really hard. You know, and I'm, I'm not looking forward to that when that happens. And what would that do to, to the yen if we see that type of action? We got the yen at about 135 right now. Oh, we'll see the yen back down around 105 in a heartbeat. When the dollar starts to turn, oh yeah, we're gonna see that you'll see it snap back huge, which means then you're gonna you think we have inflation now. What happens when our exports start to skyrocket? And we, yeah. we released all the tariff. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter about tariffs anymore. It's just going to matter between the inflation of the cost of goods coming towards us and then the currency conversion. I mean, good luck. I'm, like, I'm telling you right now, start buying your Christmas gifts for not just this year, but the next year or two, because <laughs> the average person is going to have, they start to really have to make choices. Oof. Um, well, so so real quick, back to the letter, Teddy, not real quick, but mm -hmm. so you put the letter out on Monday. We have the letter out today, the first issue, um, and you're going to provide updates when warranted. You will provide specific trades when warranted. What kind of trades mm -hmm. do you envision? Are you going to be trading Forex in there? Are you going to be trading um, options in there? Is it the whole gambit? What, what are you going to be talking about? Um, well, obviously, with the uh, with the letter, I'm going to focus predominantly on the actual forex markets. But I will absolutely put you in trades, like if it's especially a 30 year trade, or I will mean, probably have some 10 year every once in a while thrown in there. Um, nice. The dollar index, because the dollar index can be traded as well, you know. So I will have certain levels like that. And if I cool. think that there's a signal, especially when you get a lot of times when they start to rack up, where I have them in multiple currency crosses in the dollar index, then I'll lay out a whole bunch of trades where it'll be for nice. FX futures options and binary options too so nice. especially because it's at the beginning of the week 
Awesome. Well, listen, man, we, we look forward to it. And, and again, thanks for, you know, all this education and doing the letter. And, and it's a beautiful thing, man. And folks, check it out on the front page of TFNN. You can save 25%. Still comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And uh, I know you're going to be talking to my dad this afternoon during the 3 yep. o'clock hour. And I'll be talking to you Wednesday as well. We'll get double duty. Sounds good. Sounds great. Awesome, I'll Teddy. I appreciate later. it. Okay. Thank have you. a great Monday, man. All right. Take care. Folks. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. Become an inaugural member. Save 25%. It's a great report. It's out there right now. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. We'll be right back, folks. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Jumping back to the markets. Let me pull up the futures. When we're talking about an S&P right now, you're sitting negative 10 points, a little bit of negative action to kick off the market trading day. And then we've kind of just chopped around just above 3,900. You make it as low as 3,895. So we bounce a bit. NASDAQ 100, you're negative by 60. We dropped to below 12,100. Let's take a look at some of the FANG stocks to kick things off. Amazon, quite a week last week, you give back 1.7% right now, trading down two bucks at 114.40. You jump over to Apple. Apple shares positive by two tenths percent at one. 4194. Microsoft shares this morning, negative by about three quarters percent. You jump over to Google, negative by about 10 percent. Let's see how Tesla's trading this morning. Positive by about seven tenths percent for Tesla. Twitter shares this morning, positive by about six tenths. Let's see how ARC is trading. ARC, 
little negative action, down 2.8%. wonder what's driving them lower. I was going to say Zoom, one of their biggest holdings, down 2.6%. Roke was a big one in there, down 3.2%. Some of the growth stocks giving it back as we got a rising yield right now. You jump over to that 10-year. Let me give it back a little bit in terms of where you were. And let's see exactly where we're trading at right now. You're talking about a yield right now, 3.17% the yield on the tenure. All right, don't forget, folks, we got two great sales going on at TFNN right now. On the front page, Tiger Dollar Sale. This week only, folks, it runs through this weekend. It'll end July 5th. Tiger Dollar Sale on the front page of TFNN. You can get up to a 40% bonus. Current subscribers, think about checking it out. You lock in automatic savings up to 40% on your subscriptions. New subscribers, if you're thinking about subscribing, you're thinking about going to any of the classes that we have, um, whether it's a live trading class with Larry, whether it's a live uh, timing the trade methodology class with Tom O'Brien, my dad, Basil does some outstanding programs. We have archives of those six hour webinars as well. Anything you purchase, folks, you can use Tiger Dollars for. So if you're thinking about it, we only do these sales pretty much maximum twice a year, sometimes even once a year. Uh, we may do one towards the end of the year is sometimes what we'll do, but that's it. So check it out on the front page, get up to a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollars, and then take those Tiger Dollars and check out Teddy's Tiger Forex report, folks. Use the code Teddy25, lock it in, you'll gain instant access to the report he has out this morning. Uh, weekly report, outstanding job Teddy does covering those markets, giving you support, resistance, the whole deal. All right, folks, stay tuned. We got our man Basil Chapman coming up next. Harry's a little bit under the weather still, unfortunately, folks. He's doing okay. He'll come.